any public meetings regarding this subject? This is the public meeting so far. This is really not in the purview of the Waterway Board's direction. It's really in the purview of the council. We just became aware of it. Um, we work with uh, marine fisheries with regard to our current launches. Uh, in terms of the materials, um, the materials is basically going to be that uh, South American hardwood, uh, which when you see in the pictures, sort of starts brown and weathers gray. It will be those, those metal railings. Um, the exact specifics, the state is unwilling to, to engineer because they don't want to spend tens of thousands of dollars in engineering a structure which is suitable for the specific conditions of that site unless they know that the city um, is willing to have such a pier. And then they would go ahead and specifically engineer it so that it would be safe and sound in that site. Uh, and I, she wants to say yes and not have any idea what's going to happen. Well, I don't, I don't think that's a fair comment because it's going to look substantially like the pictures that you've seen and it will go out more or less straight and then take a dog leg to the right away from the canal uh, and I think and I know in your packet you have multiple pictures probably five different pairs they're all substantially the same and there is also a little sketch um, of the location of where it would go. Thank you. Council Lumber. Yes, I, just, uh, I think you just answered my question. Ralph, you said that this probably is not within the purview of the Waterways Board in terms of evaluating um, what the uh, end result is. And I think that uh, shouldn't we find the right city entity uh, whose purview it is in? We, we believe it is you. That's why we're here. We, we've been to the administration, we've gone through P and D. Uh, P and D actually was the one that. You know, want to set this public hearing up in front of you. Uh, we think it is in, in your view and the mayor's message was that um, they were interested in this opportunity and I think everyone's throwing it into your hands. Okay, thank you. Council why not? I don't think I'm qualified to say what the, what the tides are going to be and, and what the wave action is going to be. Uh, and I, I think we may make the final decision, but I think somebody's got to guide us. And that, that should be an expert. Uh, and and uh, the other thing is, uh, who, you know, if this thing gets battered by the waves and gets knocked down, you're going to come in and put it, build it up every time that happens or, or not? Uh, yes, the short answer to that question. It's kind of most responsibility for that. Um, it's important to, to point out at the stage of the game, I guess, that, that if the city is interested in pursuing this location or, or another location for that matter, that the process we take is, is that we go out that after the land management agreement is signed, and then we're able to spend Commonwealth resources in, in, in doing the planning and engineering and, and the design work. And so as we develop the baseline information, the hydrographic survey information, the wave height information, the topographic plans, things of that nature, then we can develop the few preliminary plans that we can present to the, the, the party uh, that's representing the city on this for their review and comment. So the city has interaction throughout the design and, and permitting process as to what the structure, um, how it's going to look and, and, and where it will be located. But keep in mind, we've done a number of these in the state already. And, and the design that we have shown in these photographs tonight is a design that is uh, structurally sound. It is uh, uh, very low maintenance. Um, and the, uh, the quality of the, the materials that we use are, are, are top of the line, just so that we have a structure that lasts, that doesn't require a lot of uh, maintenance, and, and it's, a, it's an attractive structure um, that, that the public can enjoy. Councillor Fonville. Yes, you probably don't have the answer to this, but it's worth a shot anyhow. Is there any sense of what the demand for this would be? A uh, typical Saturday, about how many people would you expect to utilize this for fishing, and what would be the uh, impact of that on, on 
traffic and, and as much as there's not a lot of parking on busy days there as it is. And I think um, the fishing piers, although uh, they're enjoyed by fishermen, uh, especially younger and older and, and people with disabilities, uh, those are the primary um, people that, that like the, um, these fishing piers. They're not for uh, necessarily the high course surf fishermen, the guys that like to wade into the water and climb over rocks and, and things of that nature. It's more for teaching young kids how to fish and, and things of that nature. Um, so it's, that, it's that, that group that would be using it. And, and so um, at any one time, um, except on you know, a few occasions in the summer months, uh, particularly in the spring and the fall, uh, you might see two or three people out on the fishing pier fishing. Um, at other busier times, you may see a dozen people out there fishing. Um, in terms of the impact on the parking, um, that's that's a concern, and, and it is it's going to be one of those things that, that it's going to be if it's a hassle for people to park. Maybe they don't use it that much, uh, or they get there early to park, and, and the parking works itself out um, over time. Um, and this is just a, a uh, seasonal use, um, and primarily the best fishing is early in the morning or, or, or early in the evening, and uh, the midday when, when the predominance of, of the public uh, using the, the boardwalk, uh, and enjoying the, the harbor in that sense. Uh, would probably have the majority of the parking spaces. Councilor Berga. If, if, if five councilors were to support this, five out of them being some of them, what is the, what's the procedure? Because you've said the last two times at PD, you know, Adam Lake, you have to spend state money doing real revenues. So, city signs a land management agreement, is that the term you use? And then, you start to do some drawings, as give and take. What if in the end, you know, the city looks at it and says, now nah, we don't like it, we're going to change our mind? Or is it the agreement? Well, I, I think the, the question is, is do you want a fishing pier at this location? And, 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 and if you do, then some form of a fishing pier would be something that would be agreeable and that we could agree on. So I don't think we'll get to the point where the city says, oh, I don't like the looks of that, and, and so we don't want to go forward. Well, the thing that's held us up, at least me and p and last session, <coughs> this new session, is the, the, the lack of renderings. We've got this satellite photo with a couple of rectangles drawn on it. So what if it gets to the point where you actually do a rendering, and people say, oh my god, that looks like hell. Well, again, you know, I guess my question cool. is, are we stuck once we sign the agreement? Yes or no? Simple answer. Uh, no. You're not stuck, but it has to be a legitimate reason. And I don't think that you don't like the looks of the fishing here. Is, is, you know, because uh, th this, this is what it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like this. So, yeah. I, well, I would disagree with you that that's not a reason, but that's just one vote. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Show me the detail. I see no detail. That's not off our site. There's a lot of different pieces of the puzzle that need to fit together before we can say yes to this. Um, my question is specifically, we've had a grant out there that's been um, in review process for quite some time. It finally got approved. It's the Boulevard grant to fix the Boulevard and the seawall. Included in that grant, are the public bathrooms that we've been anxiously waiting for and hoping to have some kind of a vehicle to attach those bathrooms to. We've been managed to do that. We've allowed to be managed to do that through the grant. It's, it's been authorized through the grant to go ahead with that, and it will be funded. However, it's in close proximity to what I'm seeing for an overlay here, a computer overlay that we have up here. It's, it's, it's not back here, here at all. I'm not saying that it's not the constructive pier, okay? I'm saying that's what the pier is going to end up looking like, but it's not, it's not in this location. I see no photographs. I see nothing projected. I see, I see well, we had wind turbines. We projected uh, wind turbines and superimposed them over this and superimposed them over that. I see no superimposing. I see, 
no additional time taken to do any of this. Now you may have been rushed. I'm hoping that you were rushed because you're rushing us. We're being we're being rushed through this. I mean, I, I, I'm not. So my question is, will this be interfering with the projected bathrooms that are due to go next to the gatehouse? The bathrooms are on the other side of the canal from where this is proposed, so it shouldn't have anything to do with it at all. So it We're on the other side of the canal from where the boat, where the bridge house is, and where the bathrooms are expected to go. So we're not even in the same section. So it's on the opposite side of the street, it says. It's on the you opposite side. It's on the opposite side of the canal. So if you're standing on the bridge, looking out at the breakwater, right. this is on the right-hand side. It's going over the bridge? No, it is not. It's going, is the bump out on the bridge? Can you show me the page,